Hey guys, what's going on? This is Yuri Marcus, and today I'm actually not going to be talking about the gameplay, but uh, just a quick note for this one, I just hopped onto Black Ops because I was kind of bored of Combat Arms with the hacks and all that stuff. Even though I got permanent elite, I just, I just, I want players to play the game legitimately, and Black Ops just seemed a little bit more appealing to me, so I did just decided to hop on Black Ops, play a quick game, and I actually got a, a really decent score with, score with this, so I'm not using any high kill streak. Um, high kill streaks, so no, no attack dogs, no chopper gunner, no blackbird. All right, so today I wanted to talk about Modern Warfare 3. Now I know a lot of people that you probably heard of, like Woody's Game Attack, Team Mar, all those people. They probably just drill everyone in the YouTube community probably just drilled this to death about their thoughts for Modern Warfare 3. So I don't know if I guess you could just quit this video now if you want but I just thought I should really make a video on this maybe encourage some of my f subs to really get Modern Warfare 3 because I, I have a lot of fun playing in parties and stuff like that so I, I really hope that you guys uh, get it if you if you like what I'm talking about and you want to try it out as well as me alright so the most appealing perks I would have to say in Modern Warfare 3 that I see at the moment will be Sleight of hand, scavenger, blast shield, I believe. Um, the assassin and steady aim. Well, everyone knows what steady aim is, and the reason why I'm not going to be using sit rep is because I'm like actually hold on wait actually I'm going to use steady aim with um, blast shield, and I'm going to use sit rep if I'm using assassin. So I think that that's a pretty good combo, I would have to say. And the biggest thing that I like about Modern Warfare 3 is now I don't have to choose between Steady Aim and Sleight of Hand Pro. But I, I mean Sleight of Hand, but I do have to choose between Sleight of Hand and Scavenger, so that's kind of sad face. So yeah. But I'm, def I'm gonna use Sleight of Hand over Scavenger just because of the machine pistols that are coming out and I'm just sure that I can just do work with them and I don't think that ammo is gonna be that much of a problem because I heard that the Modern Warfare 3 maps are gonna be closer encounters I mean close closer quarters so it'll just be easier for me to pick up weapons if I need it and if I do happen to run out of ammo in my primary I'll just switch to a a machine pistol and it's all good and I'll just kill someone pick up the gun and it's and I'm good to go just put it back in alright so one awesome another really good thing that I saw is shotguns now are like combat arms shotguns they actually have a cap on how fast you can fire them so shotguns are no longer going to be overpowered at least the shotguns that I saw so I think that the, that's a really good thing that um, I, I don't know who did that but I think that's a really great part of the multiplayer aspect basically if you aren't close enough to kill them in one hit you are so screwed man like I only saw this on w I only saw one shotgun but if that's like if all the shotguns are like that that'll just be awesome like the um the stakeout has a cap on it while the spas 12 doesn't really have a cap on it it kinda has it but not really like it's, you can fire this boss 12 really really fast and I think that's kinda what makes it overpowered in close ranges because it has a chance to kill in one hit with a suppressor and yeah I guess that's pretty much it alright so Modern Warfare 3 I have to say the biggest appealing factor to me would be they just completely revamped the kill streaks and I know a lot of people say that a lot of people say that it won't really matter to how people play the game now it might not matter to how most people play the game but it'll definitely matter to how I play the game so whenever I'm basically just gonna run hardline which is in the second tier perk I'm gonna run that with the support package almost all the time because it's just gonna be so easy with hardline and I'm gonna get all those assists because I'm not gonna be doing I mean getting uh, like a fun oh, oh I can't speak today offensive kill streaks so that'll be pretty awesome all right so um I just I just wanted to tell you guys that it's it's a really um I guess Modern Warfare 3 is definitely going to change the YouTube community 
with each Call of Duty game that comes out, there's more and more commentators that join the realm because they, I, I don't know, like, Black Ops is not the reason why I joined um, the YouTube realm. It was more for Combat Arms, but I just really delayed it. I think that Black Ops kind of pushed me into joining this commentator realm. So I think that Modern Warfare 3 will bring even more commentators into this because one from what I've seen and what I've heard about and what I like observed and stuff Modern Warfare 3 is going to be an awesome awesome game and a lot of people are just I think at least but I think a lot of people are going to really like it so actually I hope so because I think that they did a really good job because this is more like Modern Warfare uh, revamped and I really like it I th I guess I really like it but I'm still probably going to get owned so basically what this means for the YouTube community is that people either need to step up the game because there's going to be s a, l a l like with every new release as I said more commentators come in so th this new batch of commentators they aren't going to have that much um, fame or anything but like the old ones that have like 100k or even 10k plus subs like Woody's Gamertag um, White Boy 7th Street, um, what's that guy's name? Uh, Wings of Redemption, like, those big time machine and people, they're definitely, like, it won't really, this new influx of people won't really affect them. But, the biggest type of people that this Modern Warfare 3 will affect in terms of YouTube is gonna be the small time people. People with under 200 subs that are about as much recognized as those people. And it's going to just be really tough because with all these new people, a lot of new ideas are going to be coming in and p possibly, most likely, there's going to be a lot of new attitudes. So I'm kind of afraid that YouTube is going to become really, really competitive and there's just going to be a lot of bad talking. Like, there's some bad talking now, but if Modern Warfare 3 brings in a, a whole new crowd of commentators, it's just going to be a really, really bad thing for YouTube if they are as competitive as this as this group of not really group but bracket of YouTube commentators that are here cuz if you even like make it a third bigger there's going to be so much competition that there's going to be at least two or three people possibly even more that are just going to tear other people but it's actually it's actually not going to help them get more viewers. It it just doesn't make sense to trash talk another person if people only come to you because they like your content. Alright guys, thanks for watching. This is Yuri Marcus and have a nice day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.